football, baseball. I talk sports. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Wrestling. MMA. Boxing. Sometimes. I talk sports. <laughs> yeah. There Vanderbilt's head coach, James Franklin, is taking over as head coach for Penn State. This is a great pickup for us. He's considered a great, be a great hire, probably a little better, a, bit, a better hire than a Bill O'Brien was two years ago. But also, I learned, according to a, one of my colleagues, that a professor from Penn State has petitioned against his hire because of the rape allegations that happened during last year. Well, all I have to say, but four football players were involved, and one of them was kicked off the team. But according to a, to a story I was reading during the last couple of days, he showed them the text of what really happened, and the player said, delete it off, deleted it. Like, I don't think that was a good idea. That's destruction of justice, my friend. But either way, there's going to be a. I just don't want to see another Sandusky issue again. Just coach doesn't want to see it happen after what we went through at Penn State just two year, years ago. I can understand that there, whoever your name is. But remember this, Professor, we been through a lot worse. This man didn't wasn't there and watched poor boys rape and didn't do a damn thing about it. Wake up! This ain't. This this is college football. This ain't this this ain't college life TV. I understand what you feel, but we've been there. We've been there. We've done that. We lost one of the greatest coaches of all time because our board of trustees kicked him out because he didn't care. Because they didn't give a darn about due process of the truth. They didn't give a damn about nothing. And bad enough. One of the board of trustees is this AD, which everybody in Penn State land hates his guts because he ruled against his former colleague and coach. Remember this. We are not saints. We we are we who we are. Let this man, give this man a chance. We can make some great things with this coach. He can make Hackenberg a first-round pick. And the Vandy, since ha whoever the coach at the time may molded Jay Cutler. I hope he's a better a pro a attitude than Cutler is, which good news he is. Thank God. I hope he'll and practice a lot more class than ha ha Hack does, as well as Cutler as well. But anyway, back to the story. He has great college offensive a pedigree. He has some good coaches. Get led to top 25 on defense last three years. Nine wins. And again, in the AC, ACC, two bowl wins. That's something to be proud of. That's something to say, hey, we got a hell of a good coach. I'm glad we got this guy. And believe it or not, I'm happy we got him. I wish we, there's only a way I have to say, I wish, I hope he could keep Larry Johnson to be our defensive line coach, but I don't know. We'll also have to wait and see when the announcement comes, and also after this, more speculations on who will be on his staff after tomorrow night. We'll find out. But if I have one plea to James Franklin, please re make Larry Johnson reconsider and stay on as your defensive line coach, and better yet, hell, make him be your deep, uh, your recruiting coordinator. He's earned it. He's one of the best recruiters in the country. He's one of the best defensive line coaches in the country. Please keep him on, Coach Franklin. Please keep him on. Do your best and keep him. And also, when you accept a job as a payoff, the, the Marlins show, welcome to Happy Valley, Coach Franklin. And thank you. We need you. I've been wanting you to get this job since Joshi Church has happened. And when I found out you're a frontliner, I hope we get you. And we got him. We got you. Please 
make this team to a powerhouse, overcome the sanctions. Hopefully the NCAA will let go of the bull ban. So hopefully we'll go to a bowl game next year. Even though we're 10 scholarships, 5 scholarships short, 10 scholarships short now, but five in the next two years, we'll have the full 25. Good luck. Welcome to Happy Valley, Coach Franklin.